What is up guys, SK here, and today is launch day for Bless Unleashed on the Xbox One. That's right, today is the launch day for free to play on Xbox One. So now you can go ahead and download the game, log in and play, and enjoy the game as the rest of us have been doing. Now, today is also the day that the Bless Pass launches, and we're going to go over the Bless Pass as well as what comes in it and the quests to level up the Bless Pass, and some speculations about the Bless Pass as well. Um, I just got on the game because I just got on from work, but um, I checked everything out and it looks pretty legit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Bless Pass first of all. So this is the Season 1 Bless Pass that they are putting out. Now, like every other game that has a Season Pass, you'd expect that, you know, there's a standard and, and, and a, you know, paid for version. But Bless Unleashed, Bandai Namco... Round 8, Neo is whatever you want to call them, is doing it different. Because in most games, you wouldn't get that many rewards in the standard version. And I'm hoping this doesn't change because this is actually a really good um, initiative for people to actually get on and do certain things. And do, like, do things in the game. This is a really good initiative. Whereas the enhanced version, you just get whatever you get from the standard plus extra. Which, once again, is really good. And a lot of these things are really good, like um, rewards for just leveling up your um, your bus pass, different tiers. And from seeing the EXP and how much it was, it seems like it's pretty all pretty doable, especially within three months. Like the bus pass lasts three months, but um, as you can see, like every five you get a bonus reward, and these bonus rewards, they're pretty like they're they're pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, like. Uh, the Star Seed Lucky Boxes, the Gold Lucky Boxes. I don't think anybody's actually short on gold right now, unless you're just buying potions out the butt. But um, Star Seed Lucky Boxes are really, really, really useful. Um, uh, SEXP Boost Ticket for seven days. That's really, that's gonna be really useful, actually. I've been actually asking what when we're gonna get the daily or you know one month um, skill EXP boost because I'm a grinder and. Um, when I want to grind skill XP, I want it to run like a full period of time rather than just a few hours. And um, with the regional we're fighting on that regional quest, skill um, EXP does count towards the EXP booster. It's really good to just run regional quests like on all days. Like when I'm off on the weekend, I can run regional quests all day for those two days and gain a crap ton of skill EXP and have a ton of skill points. But right now, we don't have any um, skill XP boosters that last a full day. I'm rambling right now. But yeah, you can see um, these are the, the Bless Pass rewards. You can check them in-game as well. Um, but this is the PDF that they have on the website. Now, going to in-game, we're going to go ahead and check out what's on the Bless Pass in-game. So these are the missions for the Bless Pass. You can press start, and it's going to be right there, Bless Pass. Um, these are the missions for it. And you can see that, you know, you get these little, I don't know what these are called, what are, I don't know what those are called, but you get these little things that pretty much count as your EXP, I guess, or your, what count as your placeholders for your leveling. And to do each one, you just have to do like a specific task, like rescue people from death, obtain letters, add costume, add costumes to your wardrobe, travel using teleport, but like these are pretty easy for these ones. Some of these other ones are blurred out. You can kind of tell what they say if you like want to read. Like if you really force yourself to read it, you can tell what they say. Like this one in the first one says "cook food." That's pretty easy. And like some of these are like really difficult. Like when you think about it, because it's like kill monsters showing gear score warnings. Some monsters in the game, like you won't find monsters that are like really right there close to your gear score. You're gonna find them super high above. Right now I'm at a really weird place where I'm like my gear score is like 7.99 or something like that. 8.07. So I think I can go kill some of some brown wyverns and i'll be fine for that um they hit me hard but i'll be able to kill them regardless like i do a decent damage to them um so the tier rewards these are the tier rewards that were on the website for um, the premium and the basic and then as well as the login rewards now login rewards aren't anything too special to me because they're kind of just things you get in game normally um the only thing that i'm going to see that's out of worth are going to be the repair tools and the um, combat boosters. And like I said, the skill booster, but the skill booster is just for an hour, and that's just an hour of regionals. But if you're into that, that's cool too. The question is, is the combat booster 
No, that wouldn't make sense. Combat boosts wouldn't work for skill for um, regional quests. That would not make any type of sense. Would it? No, it wouldn't. This is combat event. We're gonna ask though. So yeah, it's just there's not really anything it has really interesting. Like these fortification cells we don't really use because like we're already past that once we get to level 20 we're starting to use C gear and stuff like that and B gear and stuff like that so it's just like some of the stuff we're not even going to use um so the, the logging wars aren't that impressive but everything else for the blessed pass is really is really it seems really set uh you can go into the microsoft store and check the price of the blessed pass which is 14.99 usd which i'm going to go ahead and upgrade mine in the morning um I'm, i don't think it does anything if you don't upgrade it like for daily or whatever so like once i go ahead and upgrade in the morning even if i'm at level four it does retroactively add everything that i've already done so if i somehow get to tier five tonight which i don't think i can <laughs> um if i somehow get to like tier three i'll get all the rewards up until tier three once i activate the um the blessed pass so yeah, that's a pretty good thing. Now it doesn't seem like you can actually over level like you would be able to on some um, battle royales or season passes by just playing the game. It doesn't seem like you can over level your pass, so they don't leave, they don't leave a way that you can just boost your pass to the end and be done with it by just playing the game, which kind of sucks because that's kind of what I do. But I guess we'll take it the slow and steady way and play the game the way it's intended to be played. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. We've got a few videos coming out later on as well for Bless Unleashed. And I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.